Good morning, friends. Uh, it's me again, giving you an update of our, on our stay here in Nassau. You'd have remembered from previous posts that we had to leave Grand Bahama because of the resurgence of new cases in the, uh, on the island and the new measures that the government put in. Um, and you'd have also remember that I did a follow-up post to that to give you an idea. So what life was like for us here at um, Super Clubs, Breezes <coughs> in Nassau. I'm at the front of the property right now in a lounge area, well, semi-lounge area. It has a, it has a, a bar area. And to the side over there, there's a pool. I hope my finger doesn't get in the way of it this time so we have the tables have been pushed up to one side and I want you to see well there's a door right here and inside here you have a dining area where individuals individuals could actually I hope you can see it I'm trying my very best so that you can see it. Um, let's come across I think you might be able to can see it better from this angle right so my shadow is blocking so that you can see and there's a kitchen at the back there. The idea is that tourists could come here as one of the kitchen kitchenette areas and they could sit and have a meal. Alright. Um, but the purpose of this this um, video is to give you an update as to what's happening with us at this point. We understand that. Um, we should be, all things being equal, we should be leaving here this Friday coming, that's the 31st. If that is the case, that would be very good for us. We really miss home. Um, really, really miss home. But we cannot complain about the, the treatment that we have received here. Um, food for Ananda is a little challenging, but we don't complain. We, we do a little um culinary um hopscotch so we take something from this part of the menu and put with something from that part of the menu that's that's how we are able to to get something to eat um by and large when we do that we are able to get something that is delicious and we enjoy ourselves the staff is very courteous and accommodating very pleasant um and I think Breezes really earns its reputation on interpersonal relationship. <clears throat> um, so what's happening with Anna and I now? Truth of the matter is that we really want to go home. We never thought that we would have been here this long. We hoped that we would have been home a long time ago. But as you you are fully aware when Mr. COVID-19 came on the scene, he has disrupted everybody's lives. The government announced last week, Sunday, the closing down of borders, the curtailing of visitors, the banning of American um, visitors here, except for those who call, would be traveling on yachts and um, private jets. The news this week now says that the decision has been reversed. Um, you, re you're not re you really get a sense that there, there's a high level of uncertainty as to how to navigate. Um, Grand Bahama has now become the, the new hotspot in the Bahamas. There are a lot, of, a lot more persons who are now down with the virus since the last time you and I interacted and uh, they have about 422 persons as, uh, as of this post who have been quarantined um, or who have been placed on self-isolation and they have over 150 persons in Grand Bahama, Mark, I'm talking about Grand Bahama, who have been identified with the has been infected by the coronavirus. Um, Nassau was the previous hotspot 
and Asa is now number two, Grand Bahama has taken over. So it was a good thing that we had made the decision to leave when we did. And that accounts for us being here. So that's where we are. Um, we are repacking our stuff. We are hoping that and praying that a flight would come even before Friday. The government is planning a the Caribbean Airlines called us last week, Thursday, I think, um, about a repatriation flight that they are putting in place and they are hoping that um, it will materialize. They indicated to us that there are quite a number of Jamaicans here who would like to go home also. So they are hoping that by this Friday, um, the flight will materialize. So that's where our hope hangs at the moment. Um, we are to call them on Wednesday or Thursday to confirm if the flight is going to. So we are asking you guys, so please pray for us so that uh, when we do make the call, that everything will work out um, okay. I miss my family. I miss my kids. I uh, really miss my kids. I miss my friends. Um, the treatment is good here, as I said before, but, you know, there's nothing like home, and I'm really looking forward to it. Another reason why I came here is that out at the front here to do this video is that I wanted to show you um, a view, some views from the front of the hotel. So I'm going to pan this way and I want to show you. Can you see? Can you see? Right. That's one of the massive hotels that have been severely impacted. Um, I am not sure if this other little building here at the side there. That one right at root, that um, red top one there. I'm not sure if that one is connected to that building. Something in my bones tell me it might be connected to the building. Maybe it's another hotel, I'm not sure. But that also has also been impacted by the virus. So, so tourism is getting a big hit here. And that's, that may be one of the reasons why the government is not to, is, is, is backtracking, I should say on um, opening up at the borders after announcing that they would have closed it to American tourists. Um, give you a few of the front of the property. So there's the front of the property. That's where I am. That's the, the hotel where I presently stay. All right. And uh, just to give you a view of what the front of the area looks like. It's very quiet at this time. I'm told that even during the slow season, you'd have a lot of visitor here still. But at this point, that's what it, it is like. So that's where we are. We are hoping that we will be, be out of here though. Um, we are thanking you, we thank you for your prayers. We ask you to continue to pray for us. And until we meet again, you remember to keep... Oh, before I do that, before I go, before I go, a little concern I have. The concern is that um, even though it is mandatory for masks to be worn, not many persons seem to be adhering to that. The staff wear their masks, and I'm speaking about where I am now. The staff, and I must give them credit, the staff wear their masks. But we have some rather indisciplined visitors here. And visitors here does not necessarily mean um, Americans. I'm also talking about locals. Um, it's good that the, the, the place caters for everybody. But adhering to protocols I believe is very very important and there are some persons who are adamant that they are not wearing masks and um, I don't know why um, but Guna and I sort of keep our distance or trust the masks we travel with it everywhere we go Guna has her little bag where she carries her hand sanitizer so every step we make we ensure that we use this hand sanitizer along with our masks all right having said that though um, kudos to the staff they are courteous as i said before and um 
they are very patient very patient and um, they, they, they tend to go the extra mile so in, in, in that regard I don't complain when I leave from here now when I finish this this up this recording I am heading back to my room good is already there and I'm going to repack because here's our expectation even though Caribbean Airlines told us that we are to call them on Wednesday I'm hoping really hoping that they will call me anytime before that so if they call me let's say if they call me tomorrow morning or this evening I can just grab my bags and just run that's how eager I am to go home that's wishful thinking I don't know maybe maybe not but that's where my hope is that's where my hope really is and so I ask you to continue to pray for us we love you guys please remember to share with your friends to like um, subscribe if you so desire and continue to pray for us and remember as always wear your mask walk with your hand sanitizers keep safe protect your family and friends and until we meet again god bless and have a wonderful day